This video is sponsored by Ariat. Fat Baby Boots by Ariat are casual, comfortable, and versatile boots for girls of all ages. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Today, we're gonna be doing some fun trivia, and I have three guests with me today, Sharon, Margaret, and Zainab, and we're going to be doing some questions, multiple choice answers, so let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. And here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna give a question to each contestant, and they have a shot at answering with one of the answers provided, and if they get it wrong, it moves then to our right, their left, and then that contestant has a chance to steal the answer, and then that's where it, it ends. And then at the end of the trivia questions, we're gonna count up all the scores, and the winner gets to reveal an extra pair of bonus boots. Before we begin the trivia though, let's go down through each one of our guests today and they can talk to us about the pair of fat baby boots that they chose to uh, start this thing off. And let's start with Sharon. You got a pair of nice dark brown ones there. Tell, yes. me, tell me about those. Love me some chocolate brown and it's got this wonderful like turquoisey color. So the color combination is all me all day. Can't wait to get into it, style it and everything like that. So it's a uh, lightweight, but it feels sturdy. Like it's gonna do its job and I'm excited to give it a shot. It's a great look. I always love turquoise when it comes to Western boots. Yes. Margaret, tell us about the boots that you have there today. So I've got some black and blue boots right here. Um, what I like about them the most is probably the arch support that I don't really find with many other cowboy boots that are traditional. Um, also the winter traction on the bottom. We live in Ithaca, New York. Uh, there's lots of snow, lots of ice, so these are just like really excellent for kind of all weathers, because you know, they're not that tall, so you're not gonna be sweating in them. I like that they don't ride up on my calves, and they're just a great everyday shoe. The blue is a nice, nice little accent, so I'm really excited to get kicking in these. You picked the exact same pair that my wife has, and she uses them all the time for no the way. exact same reason. Very so, cool. Great choice. Zainab. Tell us about that pretty pair that you got. <laughs> Let me tell you, this might be the most practical and playful pair of boots I've ever had. Obviously the outside is stunning and a nice surprise to this was this golden shimmer, this nice little shimmer. And inside you have some beautiful leopard print as well. That's for the playful side. On the practical side of things, Jeremiah, they are wide footed, which is really nice, especially I have a couple other pairs of cowboy boots and they're a bit narrow, so it's nice to have some breathing room. Uh, on top of that, also having flat feet, uh, sorry, and <laughs> with the flat feet, it's really nice to have a little bit of extra arch support as well. And yeah, I just see myself rocking these day in, day out, dance floor in, street out, whatever it may be, and I'm so excited to get going with them. I love that you chose that color. It looks great, and I'm so glad that you're excited about them. So now we gotta get excited for the extra bonus pair of boots that you can reveal today. So let's get going with our trivia. So let's start with Sharon over here on this end with this first question. This is the first opportunity to get points okay. in this game, to Be reveal gentle. your bonus. Be gentle with the question, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> if you look on your boot, you have some stitching on the toe. What is the proper term for this decorative stitching on the toe of a cowboy boot? Is it fancy stitch, toe flare, bug and wrinkle, or is it thread and hiccup? I'm gonna go with thread and hiccup, D. Sorry, that is wrong. Now, Margaret, <laughs> you have a chance to steal this question. I'm gonna go with toe flare. I'm sorry, that is also oh, no! wrong. The proper term for this decorative stitching on the toe of the cowboy boot is called bug and wrinkle. What? Wow. <laughs> it's okay, Margaret, I would have said the exact yeah. same thing. I, I was thinking the flavor. It doesn't sound <laughs> right. It sure doesn't sound got right. That one. Okay. All right. Now it's Zainab's turn for a new question, and this one has to do with Ariat. What year was Ariat founded? 1985, 1993, 1998? or 2002? 1988. Ooh, I love the spin, but <laughs> no. <laughs> that is incorrect. It goes to you, to Sharon. All right. 1993. You are correct. Yeah! 
Sharon <laughs> is now leading with one point. Yes, Ariat was started in 1993, and it's a relatively new brand in the grand scheme of cowboy boot brands. There are cowboy boot brands on the market still today that are over 100 years old. All right, Margaret, your turn. If you look at Sharon's boots, you'll notice there's an extra piece of leather over the top of the foot. So right there at the instep. Can you point it out, Sharon? Yeah, around there, that area. What is the proper term for this on cowboy boots? Instep strap, saddle vamp, classic rider, or stallion guard? I love Marty Robbins, so I'm gonna say saddle vamp. You are correct. Yay! It is saddle Let's vamp. Go. Wow, what a great... Let's go. Uh, mention of a classic, classic country singer as well. Love Marty Robbins. <laughs> That's going to get you a lot of fans in the comments Woo! section. <laughs> Here we are. We're on to card number two now. And the score is Sharon one, Margaret one, Zaynab zero. Come but on, Zaynab, Zaynab you have a chance Idiot. right now. <laughs> but you have a chance right now to get some points on the board. And th this question is about your boots. Zaynab's boots feature a different type of leather from the others. If you look at it closely, what is this leather called? Velveta, soft lux, plush touch, or suede? I'm gonna go with suede. Suede is correct. Yes! <laughs> so Zaynab is on the board. Hey, look at us. Yes. Everybody's tied up. So here we go to the next question, which goes to Sharon. What inspired the name Ariat? Is it the Secretariat racehorse? That the founder's mother was named Harriet? A riff off of the Western Lariat rope? Or their first artisan and bootmaker was Ariane Dean. Oh, those are all really good re reasons to name a company. I have no clue. I'm going to go with uh, Lariat. Unfortunately, that is not See? correct. Ah. It's a very good guess, though. Well, of course it is. Thank <laughs> you. You're so kind. <laughs> I'm going to pick Ariane Dean. Unfortunately, that is not oh, correct. Oh, wow. Okay. So that would have been my choice. Yeah, the correct <laughs> answer right. is the Secretariat Racehorse. No way. Oh. Inspired Ariat's name. Oh, damn. So that's how you know how it's pronounced as well, because a lot of people out there will pronounce it Ariat, but it is inspired by the Secretariat Racehorse, and just the last part of the name they took for the name Ariat. And if you look at Ariat's logo too, it's actually horseshoes in a circle. Oh. So here we go. So Margaret, you just answered that question. This goes to Zaynab, who has a chance to take the lead now that we have a three-way tie. And this is another question about Secretariat. What remarkable physical trait was discovered in Secretariat after his death that contributed to his legendary racing performance? Was it a bigger brain, a better jockey, wider hooves, or was it an enlarged heart? Oh man, of course I want to say the heart. That's not my final answer. I would say it has to do with the horseshoe. That is incorrect. I'm sorry, Zainab. Sharana goes to you. Would you like to hear the answers again? I think it's the heart. That is unfortunately correct. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh! Nice. <laughs> Yes, the Secretariat had a heart that weighed 22 pounds. Yeah, wow. And the average and horse oh, heart yeah. weighs about nine pounds. So if you, if you could imagine how much oxygen he was able yes. to pump through his body, giving his muscles so much more fuel to go even faster. So we're on to the third card here, and Sharon is leading with two points. Margaret has one point, and Zaynab also has one point. And this question goes to Margaret. Who is the co-founder and CEO of Ariat? Is it Hunter Collins, Owen Mitchell, Beth Cross, or is it Pam Parker? Beth Cross. You are correct. Woo! Beth Cross nice. is the co-founder and CEO of Ariat. It is a women-led and founded company. Cool. Go women! All right, Zaynab, this is another question about Beth Cross. What sneaker brand did Beth Cross do strategic marketing and product development for before starting Ariat? Was it Reebok, New Balance, Nike, or Adidas? I'm gonna go with Reebok. You are 
Correct. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> yes, Beth Cross did do some product development and strategic marketing for Reebok. In fact, that's where she got the idea to start Ariat. All right, Sharon. Here we go, this is the last question on card three, and we have two more cards after this, so this game is wide open still, with everyone tied at two. What is the proper term for the decorative stitching on the tops or the shaft of the cowboy boot? So if you look at the tops, everybody has this decorative stitching right on the top or the shaft. Is it called screw stitching, top stitching, a squiggle stitch, or is it called threading? Is it threading? It is not threading, Sharon, I'm sorry. <laughs> Margaret, it goes to you. How can you deny an answer such as squiggle stitch? I'm gonna go with that, because it's fun. It is a fun one, but it's still wrong. No. <laughs> I can never steal your questions. No, you know. <laughs> the correct answer is top stitching. Oh, Super boring, that so but that's the name of it. Okay. I just thought it was entirely too, like, I don't know, accessible. Yeah. Like, I hear about top. All right, thank you. <laughs> so at the end of card three, we are still all tied at two. All right, this one goes to you, Zainab. This has to do with Fat Baby Boots in particular. When were Fat Baby Boots first introduced by Ariat? Was it 1993, 2002, 2016, or was it 2020? Was it 2016? No, it was not, Zainab. I'm sorry. It goes to you, Sharon. Oh my gosh. Uh, 2020. It was not 2020 either. It was 2002. So this oh boot has been around for a while now. I guess 22 years since That's we're recording awesome. this in Whoa. 2024. Wow. All right, Sharon, it goes to you. What is the proper term for the dip in the shaft on the cowboy boot? So I'm talking about this part right here. So how it comes down like this. And this is my, these are my wife's fat babies. How it comes down like this and back up. That dip in the shaft. Is it just simply called a dip, V, scallop, or is it called a calf crescent, crevice? May I ask a question for yes. clarification? Is there a dip on the full length boots? Yes, there are. So, because of that, I'm gonna say a calf crevice. That is incorrect. Oh, come oh. on. All right, Margaret. Uh, it goes to you. Is it called dip, V, scallop, or calf crevice? I'm gonna say scallop. You are correct. Woo! And that's right. the first one that nice. you've stolen. All right, the shuffle is complete. We're at Sharon has two, Margaret has three, and Zainab has two, and I have to keep track of where you are now <laughs> okay. with where the letters are. This just got fun. <laughs> All right, so now that we are here, I guess we'll just start with uh, Zainab because it was gonna be your turn anyways and you're just in a new position. We have four more questions and here we go. This is the last question on card four. What is the most popular color for cowboy boots? Brown, black, gray, or white? Jeremiah, I'm gonna have to say, say brown. You are correct. Okay. Brown is by far <laughs> the most popular. Yes. All right, this is the final card and the score is Zeynep three, Sharon two, and Margaret three. So this is still anybody's game right now. All right. <laughs> the right. winner could be decided in this final card with these last questions. And Sharon, it goes to you. What is the most popular exotic leather for cowboy boots? Is it alligator, snakeskin, ostrich, or is it lizard? I'm gonna not do what Zainab does, and I'm gonna go with my instinct. <laughs> you should do that. Uh, alligator? Alligator's a great guess, oh, but it is on. wrong. Oh no. I should've gone with her instinct, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If that was your instinct to go with your instinct and not mine, then definitely go with your instinct. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the steal goes to Margaret, and we're in the exact same problem that we had before you shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say snakeskin. Snakeskin is also wrong. What? Yes, what? Ostrich, ostrich is the most popular exotic leather. They have feathers. I guess they're exotic because they're an ostrich. Yeah. And, and the other ones are more common. Yeah, and the uh, way that it is, it's, it's, it's because dimpled. they have feathers, that's the full quilt. All right, so we got two more questions and it goes to Zainab. What is the back of the boot called where the heel is? So I'm talking about this part right here. So you have the heel here, and then you have 
this part of the boot before it reaches the top. What is this part called? What is the proper term? Is it called the heel guard, the Achilles shield, aerial support, or is it called the heel counter? I got no intuition on this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with A. Heel guard? Yeah. That is incorrect. It's okay. Sharon, you have a chance at the steal and to tie the game in a three-way tie right now. Okay, Achilles shield. That is incorrect. It is called the heel counter. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are at our final question. This question is about Sharon's boots. What color did Ariet name Sharon's boots? Now this is the official color that's on the website and on the box. Is it Midnight Cocoa Elegance, Velvet Truffle Bliss, Royal Chocolate Fudge, or is it Dark Brown? I'm gonna say Dark Brown. That is incorrect. No. <laughs> and just like that, Zaynab has a chance to steal in one of the very few opportunities she's had to steal this entire trivia game, and it could be a steal for the win since she has three points and right now ties Margaret with also three points. Zaynep, what color did Ariet name Sharon's boots? I'm gonna go with A, the midnight fun one. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is incorrect. It is royal chocolate fudge. <laughs> that one was very hard. <laughs> that one was very hard. Am I still in it or is that the last question? That was the last question. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> We have a tie, and I did not prepare for a tie. Oh! What we'll do is we'll go back to the one question about Beth Cross, um, the founder and CEO of Ariat, because we can talk about who her co-founder was. The co-founder with Beth Cross of Ariat was Hunter Collins, Owen Mitchell, or Pam Parker. <laughs> Don't all rush to it. <laughs> um. Owen. No, that's incorrect. Pam Parker? You are correct, Whoa! Zaynab, for the win. Yes, Ariet was started by two women. Congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Zaynab, that means you get to open up Damn. your bonus pair <laughs> to reveal them Ooh. to us all here right now. So turquoise. <laughs> That's so turquoise. That is Whoa. awesome. Oh, and they're cheetah print on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put these that is so cute. Honestly, I can walk around town with two what different are these? That would be so cool. <laughs> really? Nice. Yeah. They look great. And they're wow. so hard. They're so you. <laughs> so Zaynev might have won, but it's not like I can keep these other boots anyway. So why don't you come and grab your bonus boots, Sharon and Yay! Margaret. I can you Another wearable. Oh, 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 oh those are cute. Yes. All season long. Look at this. There's my wow. Ariat. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very similar to the ones you have, just yes. a lighter color. Oh, they look oh, really oh, good. So perfect. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Love everything about it. Let's see what you got. Thank you, Ariat. Oh, oh, drum roll. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is really sweet. Another neutral with a pop. Neutral with a pop. Got some basics for the everyday. Yeah, these nice. are nice. Nice. Yep. Sweet. Only just a little bit bigger, but like I fit into these anyway. Trivia awesome. Questions. Those look great. great. Thank you very much, Zaynab, Sharon, and Margaret for joining me on this trivia. Congrats on your boots. Congrats to Zaynab for winning the yeah. trivia. Thank it's you, Ariel. Thank and you, huge thanks to Ariet for sponsoring you, today's video. If you guys want to see more Fat Baby content, I did the video with my wife in the cornfield, and you can see that at the end screen. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Do you know your cowboy boot facts? How many points do you think you could stack? Some of you have got the knack to take it all the way. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out the Fat Baby Extended Test up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.